Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to modify an existing animation with keyframing, just doing tweaks. So if you'll remember in the last tutorial I did, we brought in this animation from Move AI, but there were issues with the hands going into the thigh. And so what we can do is we can keyframe this animation sequence, we can isolate the skeleton and make modifications to correct that. So I have already, if we hit play, you can kind of see it. If I come over here, I actually already correct the mannequin's right hand. And you'll notice I just rotated it a little bit and now it doesn't, it doesn't cross into the thigh. So that's good. But you'll notice on this hand, the other hand, it does cross into the thigh. So that's what we're going to take a look at, how we can fix something like that relatively easy. So we're going to hit Escape, and we're going to click into this new animation that we have. And here, of course, we can see it a lot better. All I did here was rotate the hand. Now, actually, I noticed, I noticed something here is when you're looking at these animations, it's, it's worth studying them and looking at the, the body as a whole because... If we, we see the point where, if I drag this back, if we look at, if we study the situation, it looks like, of course, I could try to rotate this hand, but then I have the forearm to deal with. And it looks like if I just turn this upper arm here, if I just rotated this whole arm at the point that it starts going in, like the hand comes back here and right about there, if I just rotated the upper arm, I believe I could rotate all of this out of harm's way, out of thigh's way, I guess you could say. So let's try that. That's the upper, that looks like the upper left arm. So let's see if we can find that upper arm left right here. So let's go ahead and see if we can rotate this out of harm's way. A little bit and that might solve the whole problem whoops I lost it upper right arm and so you could just play around with different ones and then let's go add a keyframe there and hit sit play and see if that solves the problem and it seems to it solves the problem and off the mannequin goes Yep, and that's all you have to do. Now, with this corrections done, you just select the skeletal part you want and rotate it or move it or whatever you want to do. It may not always be possible to fix it here at this level with this editor, but for many things where you have that overlap, it's just maybe a simple rotation that you need to do. So now what we want to do is re-save this. So all we have to do is, like we did before, is we're going to hit play and immediately hit stop. So I'm going to go to the very beginning. I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to hit record. Play, record. And I will leave it called new animation one and we'll go OK. And then I'll just stop it right after she turns around and there she goes. And so what I have is a nice little animation that I actually got out of Move AI. I recorded it myself and after just doing a few tweaks, I pretty much have what I want. So I'm going to stop it right there. And it recorded a new animation. So I go stop. I'll come back in here. I'm just going to go ahead and save all. I would say when you're working with these animations to make copies of the animations, because once you've made a change, it may not be possible to go back. It may be hard to undo it. So. If you're going to be making tweaks to your animation, save to it as copies. So here we go. So let me go ahead and delete this one. Click on this. And delete that. And then I'll drag my new animation on. And I don't know if you remember what we started with, but this is a lot better. It's going to be weird because it comes in as a third person, so I've got to kind of finagle over here to see it. But you'll notice I don't have that overlap anymore. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it. That's all there is to it. So I also notice, like if you do notice other problems and maybe they're too complicated to fix like the feet on the ground, what you could do for that is simply don't film. <laughs> simply don't film it, just film the upper body. We don't necessarily need to see the feet. So if other things are okay and you're, you've got what you want in the interest of time, just don't film the feet. Don't worry about the feet. Just film from you know the upper body and you've got your basic animation. Unless it's important to show the feet for some reason. But otherwise, that's what I would do. Because it looks like you could do some, we could do some adjustments on the feet a little bit. But for our purposes, yeah, there's a little bit of weirdness going on with the feet there. But to me, I would just frame the shot so we just don't even see it. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you later.